let's take a look at this IKEA sent container this costs around 119 rupees or a dollar and fifty cents it's green jasmine and uh, sandalwood it's a scent container looks like this is made in India so let's see what do we get that's how it looks in order to use it just twist it and uh, it releases the fragrance it's very mild though I guess it needs time to release it I like how everything about this is made out of paper so once you are done with it you can uh, throw it and uh, it will get recycled some kind of a plant stem which has been uh, infused with the fragrance we could have easily avoided uh, these two plastic things and used some kind of a paper for it the whole thing would have been a really nice but a interesting idea it's not a really strong fragrance and uh, when you don't need it you can just close it off really clever idea quite nice check it out let's take a look at this Earl Grey tea it's from the house of tea by food hall they have so many tea selections which you can buy individually and they will pack them in this beautiful tin it has a Earl Grey tea inside the tea costs around uh, 752 rupees or uh, 10 dollars or so so let's see what we get that's how it looks Even just the tea leaves smell really amazing. That helps it uh, keep it airtight. Oh, no. And the second lid gives it uh, extra protection. So let's make some. A special tea like this needs a special glass. They also sell this interesting looking double walled glass uniquely designed cup that keeps your tea hot and your uh, hands cool 80 ml is the capacity it's not a microwave or a dishwasher safe costs around uh, 500 rupees or uh, 8 dollars or so That's how the glass looks. It has two separate layers of glass, one on the inside, one on the outside. The tea stays warm inside and your hand stays cool on the outside. A tea like this needs a unique infuser. So I got this teapot infuser, dainty infuser that is every bit cute as it is useful to brew your tea. This costs around uh, 450 rupees or uh, 8 dollars or so. The 
that's how the tea infuser looks it's a small teapot you put the tea leaves inside and you infuse the tea when you're done you get a plate to put it on so finally let's make some tea Before we drink it, one more thing. Stop reviewing. Drink the tea, man. It's getting cold. A tea like this needs a special kind of sugar. We got this special sugar sticks. Costs around 200 rupees or 3 dollars or so. That's how the sugar looks. That's how the tea looks. So let's taste this. Needs a bit more sugar. really interesting way to reduce the amount of sugar you use in tea you can keep stirring it and it gets only slightly sweet if you don't leave it too long so i think you can use this for uh, quite a few cups it's not really sweet but uh, it has a hint of sweetness so really nice way to cut down on sugar let's finally talk about the tea smells really amazing and it has a lot of flavor really nice tea such a pleasant tasting vulgar tea luckily you can get all these things in just uh, one place at a food hall store again you don't need any of these to enjoy this really good tea but it's fun though quite nice check it out let's take a look at these uh, products from the man company it comes in a wooden box like this that's their logo one is a body perfume one is a soap and the last one is a comb this is manufactured by Helios Lifestyle in a Haryana, India this costs around 250 rupees or 4 dollars or so it's a comb that's made out of wood not any wood but it's made out of neem wood it's really well made feels really nice and it also combs really well this is a black pepper and a bergamot soap natural handmade soap interesting packaging that's the ingredient list it's manufactured by quintessence in a hyderabad india this costs around uh, 250 rupees or uh, 4 dollars or so that's how it looks you can see the black pepper that's how it 
that's how it looks let's smell it it has a end of black pepper smell and some kind of floral smell like a lavender or so I think the black pepper exfoliates your uh, skin interesting uh, never seen a black pepper soap this is the body perfume blank costs around uh, 349 rupees or uh, six dollars or so this is manufactured in uh, Rajasthan, India. That's how it looks. It has a really nice fragrance. Not citrusy that kind of a scent I really can place it very intriguing though quite a few interesting products quite nice check it out let's take a look at this premium Japanese snack it's from Kari Kari really nice packaging this is the spice mania a tangy treat the crunchiest, no trans fat, roasted. Ingredients are uh, rice, peanuts, soy sauce, maldextrin, salt, sugar, spices and uh, condiments. It has a uh, chili, coriander, onion, cumin, turmeric, ginger, fennel, fenugreek, black pepper so most of the spices thickening agent permitted uh, natural colors acidity regulators tomato powder flavor enhancer emulsifier yeast extract this costs around uh, 99 rupees or a dollar and 50 cents or so there are now uh, five servings in this pack per serving it's about a uh, hundred and 36 calories even though it's a Japanese snack it's manufactured in a Shandong China so let's taste it that's how the snack looks you also get some peanuts. Let's taste it. It's nice and uh, crunchy. Has a nice tanginess and uh, spiciness. Really tasty rice cracker. It has a nice soy glazing on top. It's really tasty. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this frozen Uno with a colorful packaging. Costs around uh, 54 rupees or uh, 80 cents or so. That's how the bag looks. Check out that interesting uh, logo. A triangle with a Spider Man like face. I wonder what that is. So let's see what we get. We get two packs of frozen cards. I was expecting them to just put some movie scenes. Looks like we get individual characters. I'm surprised uh, she is zero. And he is number one. It's been a while since I saw the movie. It's 
so don't remember the characters names interesting choices though I guess these are uh, taken from the movie but at least they are uh, good quality stuff Definitely from the movie. Interesting that even he gets a card. She is six. Seven. I think there are enough characters to make individual cards rather than repeating them some really random choices nine I'd be pretty surprised if Olaf doesn't get a card of his own yep he has one and uh, Elsa gets a nice card too work. That's how the back of the cards look. Looks like a fun Uno set. Those are the rules. Some interesting choices. Beautiful looking cards. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this red velvet cake. This was at a uh, Park Hyatt in uh, Hyderabad costs around uh, 250 rupees or uh, 4 dollars or so. It looks really amazing. So let's taste it. As you can see, it's really soft. Amazing setting to eat it. You can enjoy this amazing view while you eat. Very yummy. Quite nice. Check it out. Eating desserts with uh, matcha tea is really interesting this acts like a palate cleanser interesting flavor combination quite nice check it out let's take a look at this lego set it's the unicorn and the rainbow which made me buy this interesting way to package some random legos this costs around uh, $4.99 or uh, $8 or so it's manufactured by lego systems in Denmark these are some of the pieces you get so let's build some says what is at the end of the rainbow unicorn of course that's the booklet we get For uh, 60 years, Lego bricks have inspired our uh, creativity. These are some of the 
models you can make with this. We can make a rainbow, a remote control car, I think. And uh, many of these. And a plane, some variations of it. And a unicorn. variations on the unicorn these are all the pieces you get space I think that's for the unicorn tail so let's build some You can build uh, four of these, the rainbow, remote control car, unicorn and the plane. These are the pieces left, surprisingly large amount. There are enough pieces to make the rainbow full. I wonder why they only give directions for the half rainbow. And the unicorn has uh, two horns quite a fun set hopefully we'll see lego around in a, another 60 years quite nice check it out let's take a look at these uh, Reese's bars we got uh, two sizes one is the king size and the other one is Reese's fast break it's made with chocolate peanut butter crispy peanut butter candy and peanuts so a whole lot of peanuts that's how it looks three servings each serving has about 150 calories and the whole thing has about 440 calories it's made by the Hershey company made at Hershey's Pennsylvania Ingredients are sugar, peanuts, corn syrup, vegetable oil, palm oil, shea oil, sunflower oil, chocolate, milk, lactose, molasses, cocoa, whey, milk fat, soy milk, salt, lechon, artificial flavors, DBHQ, citric acid. It's from Hershey's, Pennsylvania. So let's taste it. I think the weather in India is too hot for this. So let's taste it. The 
outer uh, chocolate is quite nice but the peanut brittlora that's something really special that has such an amazing texture chewy so peanuty if you are a fan of peanuts you should definitely check this out it's the reese's crispy crunchy that's how it looks so good this is the reese's fast break this has a milk chocolate peanut butter and a nougat so let's taste it the nougat and uh, milk chocolate have uh, the same texture very peanutty it's quite good but uh, it really can't stand against uh, the crispy crunchy quite nice check it out these have a really interesting uh, QR codes called uh, smart labels if you are in the US you can download the smart label app and uh, when you scan it gives you this info detailed uh, ingredient list you can see for the TBH QAs you get a description of that you can get a detailed info about uh, each ingredient I was always curious what this was a substance found in uh, oil components of certain plants that act as an uh, emulsifier to prevent ingredients from separating yeah. really interesting you also get a detailed uh, nutritional info allergies another uh, certification info even if you are uh, not in the US you can go to the smartlabel.org and uh, search for the product they have quite a few companies I'm surprised by how many brands Hershey's has It's also interesting to see the fast break comes in uh, quite a few different sizes. Mm. 